Hey guys, what up? It's Chris TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Mad Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's video, guys, I'm gonna help you answer a lot of your most asked question: Should I go for Fourth of July Masters or Fourth of July fireworks? I'm gonna break down, you know, how to exactly get all of these, what is the math behind it, and really my opinion on what you should go for, and help you make some decisions on what your goal is going to be throughout this Fourth of July promo. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Cartman Productions. For the first person to comment on a video for the next video's post notification shout out. There's a stat on YouTube that says about 65% of you guys that are watching my channel are not subscribed. So if that's you, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. So, um, I was going to do, you know, usually I'll do like how to get masters and then I'll make a separate video, how to get, uh, you know, 4th of July fireworks. But I kind of figured let's, let's mix it up a little bit and let's do them both in one. But we're going to talk about which you should be going for because in this promo, you really have at least somewhat of a choice. In sets, you could either go for, you know, a bunch of the 100 overall masters and go for one of these one, uh, 105 grand masters, or you could risk it for the biscuit and go with some of these fireworks sets right here and kind of test your luck, uh, you know, ri get risky and see what you can get out of them. So I'm going to be talking, um, you know, through all of that and help you make an informed decision on what you really want to do with this promo. So your best bet might be to save your resources and see. One thing you can do, save everything and see see if the you know the fireworks are worth it save them till 4th of July and you know think about it and say hey i'm going to watch youtubers and if they you know if these fireworks look really good i can go for fireworks and if not i have all my items that i need to get masters so that is one thing you can do well, let's get started with how you can really get the items you're going to need for this promo so um for really both the masters and the fireworks you're going to need a lot of the same stuff the only thing really different about masters from fireworks is that you're going to need some sometimes specific badges and you're going also going to need a 96 plus player other than that you're going to need a lot of the same rewards and you get them a lot of the exact same ways um so so real quick, Masters, you're going to need shields, uh, a 4th of July player, specific either red or blue badges, and either stars or stripes badges as well. Um, some random amounts, some are 30, 20, some are 25, 25. I'm not exactly sure, you know, what the deal is behind that, but whatever. And then you're also going to need a 90 plus futures players for these 100 overalls. And to get a Grandmaster 105, you need, do need to complete three of these sets. Uh, for fireworks, um, depending on what you get, you need sparklers, and then you also need, uh, at least for these mega fireworks, you're gonna need the futures players, shields, and badges, um, so, you know, a lot of the same things. Now, I will note, um, that the same set, this, this set right here, 50 sparklers, 2 futures players, 5 of any 4th of July badge, and 10 shield might look a little bit familiar, and it's the exact same thing as the mega fireworks set. Now, this was the exact same thing for Easter, and Easter eggs were amazing. Um, so we do have a little bit of info, so Nick Messina did say on Reddit that he doesn't think the, you know, the fireworks are gonna be that good. But then again, that is compared to, you know, at that time, the 100 overalls were insane. So maybe we'll see some 105s, maybe we'll see some 100s. I don't have any exact predictions on Easter eggs, but look for that, sorry, uh, for fireworks. Look for that video tomorrow, though. I do have some fun stuff to show you guys tomorrow. So, um, you're getting a lot of the stuff the exact same way, uh, from the live events. Basically, I am, I have a Reddit post, I made a Reddit post yesterday with a ton of math for this promo. It actually got pinned. I will leave a link to this in the description below, so you can go check it out and kind of follow along with me, and I'll probably put some screenshots up on the screen as well. So, um, basically, every single day you get 480 stamina that refreshes for free, and you do need to complete the first win events. So, first win events are very, very important, um, and so... The three, there's six blitz events, and uh, these reset twice a day. So you're going to be doing pretty much 12 events, they're all 35 stamina. With your 12 first wins, you're going to get like 180 sparklers, 24 badges, and 1280 to 84 futures players out of playing all your first wins of these events. And you're only going to have 60 leftover stamina every single day. You're going to want to play the jackpot event, obviously in the morning. And then what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to get a little bit more stamina. Whether you buy that with gems in the store under Madden Futures, whether you exchange futures players here in the Madden Futures tabs for future stamina, you are going to need to complete some, you know, probably do this jackpot event a second time. Uh, because you do need the extra stuff in the promo. It's very, very helpful if you do that. Um, it's going to help you out. So um, if you do not do the jackpot event twice a day, if you only do it once a day, um, this is what you're going to get over 12 days. So over 12 days, which is the length of the promo, you're going to get 3,100 spark 
about 3,100 sparklers, 312 badges, and 216 80 plus futures players just from playing all the first wins in the jackpot event and getting the achievement obviously for playing all the events in one day. Um, so this I will show you the pretty much the exact stuff that you need um, for to, you know to get certain things. So I compared getting one of the 105 grandmasters and getting six of each firework tier because let's say you're going for every single firework which I am that is what I'm going for in this promo. Um, if you're going for one of you know if you're going for one of each firework I said maybe you know maybe you'll get lucky. I'd say if you do each of them six times, maybe you'll get lucky and get all the ones you need. Some of them you might get lucky, maybe on the small firework you get, you know, four in a row and you need, you got all four different ones and you got super lucky. But maybe Mega, you know, you get, you're getting super unlucky, you're getting all the same ones, you have to do it more than six. So that's, that's just general, but um, to be able to get six of each firework here's exactly what you need uh you're gonna need you're gonna need 3900 sparklers 276 badges 240 80 plus futures players 30 85 plus futures and 12 90 plus futures now obviously you're not going to get all of that out of your daily events and things like that so the biggest thing is what you need to do with a lot of your extra stamina since you are using promo stamina for this um you do need to play this event up here this is a biggest money maker um spend all your stamina every single day on this event i use a bunch of gems because i don't have time to wait it refreshes every six hours obviously if you use 100 gems you can uh kind of expedite that and make that a little bit faster and do those events as soon as possible i use all of my stamina on these events every single day because they do uh, help you out with the extra futures players you're going to need. Also in the store you can buy coin packs. Coin packs can help you out obviously a good amount um, every single day. Uh, not every single day, every other day. Throughout the promo you can open 14 coin packs because they reset every other day. The last day just tends to have, uh, tends to fall on the very last day of the promo on the 7th. Um, so yeah, 14 coin packs in total will get you some extra stuff as well which really helps. Now let's kind of talk about the masters for a second. The masters are kind of similar. Here's what you're going to need for one grandmaster. You're going to need the exact same amount of sparklers. 3,900 sparklers. You're going to need... 30, uh, 390 badges, so about 100 more badges for the Masters, and then you're also going to need 380 plus Futures players, which is a little bit more um, than the uh, the Fireworks, which is 240, and you're going to need 9 90 plus Futures players, so it's less players, um, but pretty much more badges, so the Grand Masters seems to be a little bit easier um, than this, so here, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of advice on exactly what to go for, so, um, at this point in the game, you know, you don't have a leg legacy team unless you're you know a super grindy league versus league guy maybe and, and you know maybe for fun you can grab those masters maybe you want to grab a master because fireworks you always you know you feel like you you know you just want to put something on your team for fun and i absolutely get that then go for the masters um like i said might be a little bit easier to do it definitely helps you if you have, if you have more coins if you you know if you're doing a lot of extra stuff if you spend madden cash things like that that's obviously going to help out um and then you know maybe in the jackpot you get super super lucky and you pull the 96 which is going to take up you know a ton of resources that you get to save right there 280 290 plus players a bunch of badges 10 shields sparklers it saves you a lot of stuff but you have to get super lucky for that as well so yeah masters um you know if you want them for your team go for those but here's my thoughts so for me obviously i'm more of a content guy i like to you know make videos so i like stuff that's going to help me make videos masters don't help me make videos things that people love to see like fireworks and random openings lucky openings pack openings people like to see those but at this point in the game i've never really cared about my team too much fourth of july is always one of my favorite promos and the fact that they added like special fireworks this year to the game um is going to make it that much more special a lot more fun to play so um I'm going for fireworks. I'm going to try to get every single firework for you guys, even if I have to spend some man cash or spend, uh, you know, spend a ton of coins to get some players that I may not have towards the end of the promo. I am going for all the fireworks. If you want some fun towards the end of the year, um, I will say Easter was absolutely insane. You got a ton of stuff. It was absolutely worth it to go for Easter, but you could also, uh, you were also able to get a master in the way. So that kind of helped, you know, Easter be a little bit better in that case. But... This time, Messina said he doesn't think that the rewards are going to be that good. So that is something to note. You know, fireworks are a big risk. Go for them if you think, you know, you don't really care about getting a master for your team. And another thing, like I said, they always add, like, a specific, like, super fun holiday card. They might, you know, add, like, a firework master where... 
my prediction is it's going to take the exact same requirements to get a 100 and they'll have a 105 master on the 4th of July for you to get with all these exact same requirements. So you don't have to get three to get a 105. You can only get, you know, that's my prediction. I'm not exactly sure if that'll happen, but usually we get a master that's much easier to attain um, on the actual holiday. So keep that in mind as well. But anyways, guys, that is it for my little guide here. I hope you guys, I uh, know that helped you guys out in making a, a decision about this promo, uh, whether you go for fireworks, whether you go for uh, masters, whether you save all your stuff to see what you're going to do. Um, you know, like I said, I hope I gave you some stuff that'll, you know, help you make an informed decision on what you're exactly going to do in this promo. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer everything that I can. But anyways, guys, that is just about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Goose TV and I'm out. I'll see you guys later.